Ah, hello there, CSGO fans. I hope you guys are all doing well. And a constant reminder, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just bringing up a talking point, okay? Not trying to shoot any accusations out there, but a while back we covered something very interesting about the Astralis organization as a whole. That being during the outbreak of the coronavirus, COVID-19 as well, they requested, I would say, a large portion of their staff, which included players as well, to take wage cuts, pay cuts, salary cuts, upwards for some people of what they said was 30%. This being for probably a few month period, while of course they tried to recoup a lot of the losses that were happening uh, throughout the organization. The esports community has been hit heavily by this as well with the lack of events on top of everything else. It was very peculiar though, because they did also state that most not all of the players accepted these wage cuts of course not listing names so we have no idea what players actually sacrificed a substantial portion of their income and what ones simply said no now amidst all of this we now have the announcements after asking staff which i assume a lot of them agreed to take these pay cuts of up to 30 percent within the last few months or actually within the next coming weeks of that announcement they, they then announced, hey guys, we're going to be adding several CSGO players to our roster. By the way, which reported by Decay, could be upward of eight players. Rumors saying eventually, even Astralis staff themselves saying, you know, two players per role sounds pretty nice. So it could eventually be 10 players. I ask all of you guys this. How would you feel if you were a staff member who agreed to a 30% wage cut and then all of a sudden they pull a staff meeting and go, hey guys, we'll also be adding two, maybe three, four, five players to our CSGO roster, which is also a large reason for a lot of our spending. Uh, thank you for your time and sacrifice. I don't know. And again, this could be presented without the finite details we need to know, but I hope they understand as well. Uh, from outside looking in, this looks very weird. It would probably rub me the wrong way if all of a sudden I found out, oh, they saved money on me and, and are now spending that same money they saved by us on players, which by the way, not even all of those players potentially, it, it could be the CS roster, it could be the League of Legends guys, it could be the FIFA guys. There's not too many players to choose from when it comes time for finding out who did not take a wage cut or a pay cut, all right? So the odds are maybe one, maybe multiple CS guys uh, did not take those wage cuts. The same money that they are saving on you as the staff is now just being put over towards the, the CS team. I don't know. This is It's a weird time, right? It's certainly something we have probably never seen when it comes time for other esports organizations. Certainly a fair share of organizations have simply laid off people. So I give credit where it's due for a team like Astralis to take these wage cuts to give these people jobs, you know, guaranteed jobs for the future. But all of a sudden, the money you save there, which, which could have been paid to them, is now being paid to CSGO players, which a lot of people don't think you need for the game. Astralis is making a lot of great moves out there, groundbreaking moves when it comes time for esports, but especially in the Counter-Strike scene, saying, hey, we don't want five-player games. We want to make this five-player game a six, seven, eight, possibly a, a two a two-team game, right? Two players for each role. We're gonna split these, we're gonna split this game in half. We're gonna have CT side specialists, T side specialists. We don't know their full goals yet, but I thought I'd bring the point to light. What do you guys think about this? Generally curious what your full thoughts are on this. And uh, yeah, very, very interesting stuff. Again, Astralis keeps on doing some very groundbreaking stuff. The way they achieve their groundbreaking stuff it could be questioned here and there. Until next time, hope you guys all enjoy yourselves. All right, have a great safe day. You know what to do. You're probably already doing it, all right? You know. Stay hydrated. Okay, bye.